So we got another a video. This was given to Pat McAfee on his show, and this was the Vintner Eric Rowan. And he's in therapy with Uncle Howdy. And this was exactly like when they did the one with Bo Dallas, where we've seen this guy for years. We've seen Bo Dallas for years. And they had them both do promos about their real lives and feelings. And it was literally the best promos they've ever done. This Eric Rowan promo was incredible. He's talking about how we were a family, unstoppable. One day the whole world changed. I lost a brother person in this world who believed in me more than anybody else just gone knocked me on my ass but i got up i wiped the dust off i kept moving life goes on and then when i felt like i had everything going my other brother he was gone too i had no more family no more will nothing fell down a well i couldn't get out of didn't want to get out how could i want to get out couldn't move numb to everything numb to, numb to the world who's gonna miss me i'm just rowing and he lifts up his sheep mask and he says this mask gave me hope When I was at my lowest, you reached out to me, you pulled me up, and I accepted it because I needed help. I had a purpose to help those like myself. This is a great promo. These guys are supposed to be heels? No, no, not at all. They're babyfaces. They're total babyfaces. No, they're not supposed to be Especially feuding with Chad Gable. No, they're total they're total they're total babyfaces. They've been babyfaces all along. Yeah. Well, I mean they're they're all creeps. We got a got a murderous buzzard. Yeah, but the deal is, is that they're doing a tribute to Bray Wyatt. That's they a big, are. That's, they're that's all a broken face. people who have been very honest about their problems in life, mm-hmm. and they are sympathetic babyface characters. Yep. Jey Uso versus Dominic Guerrero. Dominic Mysterio. Dominic Mysterio. Eh, in storyline, he's Dominic Guerrero. At one point, yeah, yeah. when he was a kid. So anyway, uh, Dom's screaming at Liv. She comes out to try to help. She says, leave me alone. Jay dropkicks Dom on Liv. Liv sweeps him, ends up on top. She's about to kiss him when Rhea's music hits. Liv freaks out, takes off through the crowd. Dom's apologizing. Rhea says, get your ass in the ring and finish this. So he gets his ass in the ring, gets speared, splashed, and pinned. And Rhea's immensely irritated. And so they go to commercial and they come back. And Dom is walking up to Priest and he goes, man... Priest says, that was rough. And then Rhea shows up, and Priest says, take it easy, and he's out of here. And Rhea said, let's get something straight, Dom. I don't belong to anybody. I'm not yours because you're mine. And she gives him the rose. She walks off, and he is over the moon. Mm-hmm. I don't buy it. Well, don't, she'll, don't, she'll get her revenge. Don't don't you think it's the other way around? Don't you think that Dom's screwing her in the Liv Morgan match at SummerSlam? Well, I we'll find out. I mean, yeah. they're doing something. That's, they're that's doing what... they're doing Steph, Triple H, and Kurt Angle. That's not good because that ended really terribly. Well, this one they got to end it right. Yeah, Hunter's finally gonna get. <laughs> he's finally gonna do the right finish after all these years because it doesn't involve him. Yeah, we'll see. So Chad Gable comes out and he calls out Uncle Howdy. He says, it is none other than Bo Dallas calling you out. So Bo comes out on the ramp, and he's suddenly attacked from behind by the Creeds. And the crowd seemed to have absolutely no idea who these guys were because they were in street clothes. Because at first, there's just no heat whatsoever. And they're beating this dude, and he's bumping like a maniac. Like he's just taking these crazy bumps. So they're beating on him three on one. He starts laughing. So Chad goes over to the corner, keeps beating on him. They suplex him. He's still laughing. And finally, Chad says, uh, what are you laughing at? And Bo says, there you are. And the lights go out. The fans start going nuts. They chant, you fucked up. So the smoke starts to rise. Out come the rest of the creeps. The heels bail. Everybody gets in the ring to surround Bo. He keeps laughing. And the crowd popped for all this, even though literally nothing happened. Yeah. But yeah. for those of you who have not figured it out, we have got Huskus. Like, all of the puppets are now living beings. Huskus is Joe Gacy. Ramblin' Rabbit is the Vintner. Mercy the Buzzard is Dexter. And Nikki Cross is Abby the Witch. Mm-hmm. So that's the uh, that's the crew. And they'll be taking on the Creeds, I guess. Creeds and, uh, and uh, Chad Gable, yeah. Gable, yeah. So I guess yeah. we'd have... Uh, three on three. I'm trying to think which three it would be. I wonder, if, I wonder if Uncle Howdy will just stand on the outside for a while. Well whatever maybe they'll get a fourth person on their team who yeah. knows so then i mean this must have gone long because they came back for sammy Zayn and Ilya dragonov and if you take out the commercial time they got like seven minutes 
And they literally started with, like, Sammy's comeback. It's like they just cut out the first half of the match. Sammy starts doing a comeback, and they just start trading near falls. And I will say, like, for a, for seven minutes of TV time, they had about the best seven minutes you could have. I mean, they were great. And just... I thought I thought it was, like, nothing. What? I thought... I just thought it well, was Well, it was like, nothing because it was seven minutes. Well, I mean, they, But, like, they, the work and, itself, they were great. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah they, I mean, like, like the moves were good, but they had no time to build it, and then they did a shit finish. Yeah, they just they just did the comeback. Yeah. And then, yeah, Sammy boots him outside, and out comes Braun Breaker. So security apparently didn't follow him out, as asked. He yeah. sprints around the ring, and he kills Ilya dead. Throws Sammy in the ring, he kills him with a spear. And so if you watch the show... I mean, when Pierce told him to go home... He didn't go home. Well, no. He said, I don't want to have to suspend you like Drew. Yeah. So, I mean, in theory, now he has to suspend Braun Breaker. In theory, yeah. That's a lot of suspensions lately. Too many. He's he's losing control. So it's either Braun and Sammy at SummerSlam or a three-way. Yeah. I mean, I was told it was Braun and Sammy, not a three-way, but, you know, those things change all the time anyway. That'd be a hell of a three-way, though. It Yeah. Yeah. Although then we'd probably have Sammy, you know, Braun pins Ely to win Sammy's title or something. I don't like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Braun should pin the champion if he's going to win the title. So anyway, I thought overall it was a pretty good Raw. I mean, a lot of good stuff and the Rhea stuff. I mean, they've they followed it up pretty well. So we'll see what they end up doing next week. We did, in fact, by popular demand, watch Ready to Rumble. The champion is some fat loser. Yeah, he's a completely... Talentless, no athletic ability, can't wrestle, broke bum that walked out on his wife and kid. But he and was he's over the it. world champion. He and was in the he, movie. The well, yeah, but that's is, a microcosm of wrestling. Sadly, yes, he feels so bad about drinking this entire slushy that cost a dollar twenty six, and he he sticks his finger in his asshole and walks up to the clerk. Let's see, Lance is dying. How could the movie be so bad? I'm not going to fault the man for that. Of all the things in the movie. I thought okay. for sure you were going to say you'd done this before. There's a reason I'm not going to fault the man for that. I, I just think with all the porta potties and farting in this, that I think Vince McMahon was a secret uh, producer on this film. Had to have been. So then we get the, the Shermanator. He's played a WCW arcade game. He uses some internet sleuthing to find the personal information of Jimmy King. He's searching the internet. Can find out anything on here. This movie is so antiquated. Every Nitro Girl is in a Nitro Girl outfit, except for this girl. And they had they her dance in something to totally different. Out, Brian, like the captain. So we're so stupid. I got it. Captain. Yes. Stabbing? If you're watching this film, you're that stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I was also insulted by the fact they hired Michael Buffer. To announce the Royal Bash, the fake-ass Royal Bash. $24 million budget. Wow. And probably 500000 of that went to Michael Buffer. It made twelve. You know, we he should unveils. mention, this, this cage match is the triple-decker cage of doom. Everybody buried it. It was horrible. Everybody hated it. And, uh, and so they decided to make a movie. And what is the final battle? It's another goddamn triple-decker cage match. This would be like in, in 2010 if like TNA made a movie and the final the final match was a reverse battle royal. They throw powder in someone's face, DDP's I think or somebody's, and the dude just looks at him and goes, "It doesn't work." And it's like, of course, because wrestling's fake and stupid. Should we just end it there? What a, what a sound bite! There has never been a movie I have watched in my entire life which has made me hate myself more. Wow. I'm ashamed that I'm even in the place at 41 years old where I would end up reviewing this movie for money. I would have thought I would have made it out of here by now. You know what I mean? I'm done. Well, everyone, hopefully we can do this again someday. Instead of suffering through the YouTube chat, click like and subscribe.